Hi people and welcome to a new Minecraft mod video. Today we're looking at a mod called Bibliocraft and it's for Minecraft 1.4.7 or whatever it says in the title and description. Links to the mod will also be down in the description and you need Minecraft Forge. This is another Forge mod. This Forge is the best in my opinion. So let's get started. What does this mod add? Well it adds some like various really cool ways to store items. So you can see here we've got some potion shelves, some display cases, armor stands, bookcases, and some other cool stuff there. We'll get onto that as we progress through this mod video. But first of all, I want to look at the bookcases. So let me just show you how to make with these quickly. We've got an oak one here. So you've got oak planks down the side and oak planks down the other side, slabs in the middle. Now it doesn't actually matter what wood you craft with. So if you wanted a birch one, for example, have to use birch wood and, and slabs and then you get different colored bookcases look I'm not interested in new deers you're not in the mod video well now you are damn it go away go away anyway bookcases if you right click on one you get this UI here and you can actually drop books in here so even with miscraft books you can stick a miscraft book in there but these normal books don't actually work you can't store these books unfortunately but all these miscraft books or written books or book and quills and any other books from any other mods you could probably put in here. So you can see here this is full of book and quills and the bookshelf is actually full up. And here we've got four books on there. Four books. See? It's really nice. So if, you want, if you're a miscraft user like me this will become an actually really handy to store a lot of books in a small space and look pretty nice. So... Yeah, that's the bookcase. And we're going to move on. So we've got an armor stand here. This is the default looking armor stand. And I'm actually going to show you how to make it quickly. So let's go to the armor stand. And as you see, stone slabs along the bottom. Two iron ingots there. Sweet. And you make these armor stands, you just put them down. And you can see here we've got some gold. We've got some iron. We've got some diamond. And once again, it works with modded armor as well. We've got a quantum suit, yes, from Industrial Craft 2 there. So, if you've got like loads of spare sets of armor you're not using anymore, or you're getting like random armor's drops, you can just set them up on a stand, and it'll look pretty nice sitting in your house. Pretty awesome. So, let's move on yet again to the third thing, which is display cases. Now, once again, it depends on the matter of woods. And it also depends on the colour of wall. So let's see at the display case. What? This. Ah, why is this not working? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's called blue line birch case. It's not called display case in any eye. Anyway, so for example, the black line spruce case would look like this. You have spruce slabs, glass, and black wall. So if you wanted a different back end, you put in a red green or blue in there and if you wanted a different like wood you just put change the wood slabs pretty awesome so to open these you need like nothing in your inventory slot and you need to shift right click and it will open the case like that it looks pretty nice when it's open as well you could even leave them open for like decoration like that maybe pretty awesome and then once it's open, you can right click and put your weapon of choice in there. I believe these only work with weapons, maybe tools as well, I'm not sure. But good way to store formal weapons that you don't use much anymore, or weapons that are about to break. And as usual, it works with modded weapons as well, as you can see. Pretty awesome. So, let's move on again. So you craft a lot of potions and you they just take up too much room in your chest because they don't stack and stuff. Well, never fear. We have the potion shelf. Once again, made with any different type of wood. And as you can see here, we've got some random potions here. And they look really cool on their little shelf, so... Yeah, potion shelf. Let's show you how you make it as well. Because people want to know how you make these things. But if you've got any iron, it's pretty easy. Anyway, so you need your wood of choice into slabs, your normal wood planks into whatever wood you want to use, and a glass bottle in the middle will get you a shelf. 
And look at that, you can store your potions, you can store up to, what is it, 12 potions in one of these stands. And it saves them taking up a whole chest. It's pretty awesome. So, once again, we're going to move on to our fifth item in this mod. And this is the tool rack. It can hold weapons and tools from mods you can see here. Once again, you can make it of any kind of wood from default Minecraft. And you can see you've got some swords in here. Got a boomerang, got mining lasers. Could even put some other tools in there. So let's just spawn a tool, for example, like a hoe. And let's use an electric hoe. See if I open this. Wait, got to have nothing in my hand. There you go. Put that in. Electric hoe. Pretty sweet. And let me show you how you can make these tool racks. Like this. Slabs, round and iron ingot. Remember, slab of choice. Birch slabs if you want a birch one, etc, etc. Et so, there's two more things to go. Here we've just got the shelf. Now these shelves can actually put anything. You can put blocks in these, items, even spawn eggs, anything you want. I think you can even put a spawner in these. Let's try a spawner, just randomly. Uh, if you can actually spawn. Right, let's put that. Could I put that in there? Yeah, you could have a mushroom spawner on your shelf. Not that it would spawn anything, but pretty cool. So let's have a look here. You've got four on each. I'm not sure if you can put a stack. Let me let me try a stack of cobble. I don't know if that would work. 64 cobblestone. Let's try. Yeah, you can put 64 in there. Pretty awesome. You can. So if you want to display some stuff, yeah, these shelves are good for anything. So on to the final thing here. Oh no, I didn't show you how to make the shelves, did I? Ah, what a wally. Here we go, shelves. They're uh, potion shelves. No, these shelves. Slabs, slabs. Plank in the middle. And of course, yet again, wood of choice. Make any kind of slab. And you can change the colours. Sweet. So the final thing here is these signs that you can put in chests. This is really nice for labelling chests. You can see here I've got a mining laser, <laughs> a cobblestone block and a chest. And right click on, or is it shift right click? Oh, you have to sh shift right click and you get wooden label. You can stick something in there like, I could put them in here. Look, it tells you what's in the chest. Awesome. So you want to know how to make them as well. All right, they're called labels. Pretty easy to make. Just slabs and slabs. Of course, once again, four different colours. Pretty damn sweet. And that's it for the mod. You could look, make some really nice looking stuff. You could have some armour stands. You could have like display cases for your previous weapon. Store your books. Really awesome. So this is Bibliocraft for Minecraft 1.4.7. And that's been another mod video. Don't forget the link to the mods in the description below. And don't forget to leave a like, a comment, a favourite, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.